again. Hmm. Can you see that uh, the president is just watching, is looking, not saying anything? Why militants from the Islamic State-backed faction of Boko Haram, the Islamic State West African province, have reportedly killed a Nigerian soldier captured during Tuesday's raid on a military base in Damasak town, mobile local government area of Borno State. <laughs> the families are, are crying, wailing now. The military source confirmed this to Sahara reporters on Sunday. Somebody will say, oh, Sahara reporters is always bringing this kind of news. But it's happening. All these things are happening. They are happening and they are reporting it. What we are hoping for is for this kind of a thing not to happen again so that good reports and good news will be reported. But in as much all these things will be happening, it will be reported. Because these people who are involved, they have families. The soldier whose name is yet to be revealed has now joined the list of countless men of the Nigerian army who had lost their lives due to the insurgency in the northeast region. In a video shared online by Amak News Agency, a news outlet linked to the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, the insurgents killed many other soldiers in the attack. They were seen shooting sporadically in all directions. A resident who had earlier spoken with Sarah reporter said the gunmen came in in different groups and could not be counted. He added that some Nigerian soldiers were killed while others fled into the bush. Hundreds of them okay, came with guns, trucks and grenades and started firing from different directions. The soldiers ran away and left us on our own. They didn't shoot at them, the insurgents at all, though some soldiers were killed. I can't say how many, he told Sahara reporters. It was learned that the insurgents also burnt a Nigerian army tanker and some buildings in the military base. The attack on the uh, on the base took place just days after Boko Haram fighters ambushed a military convoy in Gudu, Bali, Kukawa local government area of Borno State. Over 15 soldiers, including the commanding officer, 123 Special Forces Battalion Major UI Urang, were reportedly killed during the incident. Boko Haram and its offshoots, Islamic State West African province, have killed thousands and displaced millions in northern East Nigeria. The Nigerian military has rep repeatedly claimed that the insurgency has been largely defeated and frequently underplays any losses. In the past months, soldiers have been targeted by the insurgents. Many soldiers and officers have been repeatedly or reportedly killed since January 2021. You know, we should not forget that uh, this man, the former chief of army staff, Boratai, said changing service chiefs is not going to amount to anything. And some people are saying it from that line. But of course, people were really agitating, people were really clamoring for service chiefs to be changed. But well, if we are in a sinner environment, changing them would have been the idea, ideal thing. It would have been the ideal thing. And let us not even forget that these people, the former service chiefs, were supposed to have been retired. They were supposed to have been retired, but they, they prolonged their stay. Those were one of the reasons why people said they should be changed. In the recent, a government that is even ready to do the right thing should not even be reminded. Should not be reminded. Now they will be reminded, they will be begged, they will be persuaded, they will be whatever. And again, let us not forget what Burasai said, that in the next 20 years, that this whole thing with Boko Haram and the rest of them will continue. And... People are not even asking him, why did he say so? So what can be done? If we are now projecting trillions of Naira, billions of Naira every year, then what of what use is that? So if nothing has been budgeted, so that means everything would have just been, the whole country would have just been wiped away. And that's why some people are calling for that separation. Let us just be on our own before it will get too late, it will, if, before it will get to that level. We are even talking, if another incident occurs, in other regions joining what we are having in the north <laughs> so what would have what would be now what would not be left of nigeria that is what we are talking about because it is like singing the same song every day singing the same rhetorics every day nothing is being done and like what is being you know what we can see is like they are downplaying the whole thing they are playing to the gallery the government is just playing to the gallery they will come and tell you that everything oh they have been technically defeated oh bombs are not flowing the way they used to flow before this uh, administration came on board. Well, even a state governor was almost assassinated, okay, yesterday, and everyone just moved on as if it does not matter.
if those in charge of security have run out of ideas they should allow the people to defend themselves which people have been doing as we speak this is unthinkable poor man killing his fellow poor man please boko face our wicked leaders and ordinary and leave ordinary people alone you attack their farms houses and livelihood please face the looters next time the government will give them ransom and amnesty you can't defeat insurgents by coddling coddling them sabotage everywhere to be a nigerian soldier shouldn't be a dead sentence sad a thing when the killers of these soldiers get arrested they will be granted presidential pardon and offered to be enrolled among the force they have killed as uh, soldiers they have killed as soldiers rest in peace soldier the question is that uh, why is it so difficult for these guys to resign <laughs> I mean, isn't it obvious that being a soldier in Nigeria is not worth it? Dying like a chicken at your own backyard, dying for nothing. Yes, I hear Nigeria is not at war. Rest on, rest on soldiers, but could have heeded the warning and still be alive. If you are opportune to come back, please don't join Nigeria Army again because you will be abandoned at the critical time. I wish you the best in heaven. Any day they catch them, federal government will say they have repented or they are repented. God is watching this government that play with human lives. Boko Haram is avenging all the killings by the Nigerian soldiers on innocent southern youth. Evil shall be messed with greater evil. Another sacrificial lamb gone. But when the uh, the army captured them, the governments will release them, claiming they have repented. I pity the remaining zombies in Nigeria army. Bari must have told them to waste him through satanic gumi. Okay, mm, bro, you died in vain. You had the opportunity to go back to your families, but you decided to waste your life. They are well known to the government and their agencies. Agency. Sorry to your family for their loss, but rest away, bro. Nigeria is not worth dying for. Hmm. Now so we go the day. Now so we go the day. That is the question. It is shame on Nigeria military unable to rescue their personnel. And all this kind of a thing are happening and the, the army has that time to be replying Sunday go that's their professionals, their discipline. Do they involve they don't get themselves involved in all those say petty petty things or propaganda? Everyone, get ready to occupy the streets of Nigeria. We cannot wait till 2023. We will get the worst come 2023 if we don't act fast now. So guys, let's hear your opinion on this.